Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a scratch game called Chase the Cat. Let's get right into it. First, you're going to have to get rid of the sprite and choose any sprite you want. I'm going to choose a cat. Next, you go in costumes and choose your size. If you like the size, you can keep it. I think I'm going to change mine. Hmm. Smaller the cat is, the harder it'll be to click it. Now, you make sure to put it in the middle and put it in the direction you want. I'm going to keep mine at 90, actually. Next, you're going to go to event section and go wing read file clicked. Go in control and get forever. And inside there, you go to motion and go, go to random position. But... In control, you're going to make it wait one second. So now if you see, every time the cat goes to a random position every one second. Now, you're going to go to event section and get the when the sprite clicked. We want it to looks to say hello for two seconds. Change hello and change it to got me. There we go. Now if you put it, every time you click the cat, it says got me. Next, you're going to create a new variable and call this one score. There we go. Now, we want to go back here and say when the when the sprite clicked, go to your variables and change my variable by one. Turn this variable into score. So now if you see every time I press it, the score changes by one and two and three and so on. Now we want to make it. When you go to events and this right clicked, actually we need one green fat clicked. And we want to set the variable to zero every time the green flag clicks. So that means when you press the green flag, the score resets. Change my variable to score, and now look, back to zero. Now if I click it over, again, again, it's on two. Now if you press this, it's back to zero. There we go. Now let's try that out. Okay. I got one. Two. Three. And so on. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.